feel like I need to know all the quirks and features of Tyler. Well, Hoover. I'll tell you this. Good morning, YouTube. After repeated requests from many fans or just April Rose, uh, we're having Doug DeMuro on today. Yes. Daddy Doug. April thought he's the most handsome car YouTuber uh, in the world well, with his eyes. Well, it's more of a fact. I didn't just think that. It's not an opinion. More than me, apparently. Never! And <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. I've worked with Doug for many years, starting with autotrader.com slash oversteer. He left, leveraged his YouTube popularity into starting Cars and Bids, his own enthusiast car auction website. So he's been a very, very busy man. And with his platform, I can ask him some questions that I've never thought to ask him. And April can <laughs> thirst over him, I guess, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but also, thanks to Auto Tempest for sponsoring today's video. And Good Morning YouTube is the best place to search for a used car online as it combines all the major listing sites into one search, including Cars and Bids. Mm -hmm. So let's say you want to search for a car like we bought on Cars and Bids, a 1991 to 96 Lincoln Town Car. Mm -hmm. It will pull up all the listings for sale in the country. And Cars and Bids actually has one on there right now, a beautiful Spinnaker edition, a 19. Mm -hmm. 96. So use Auto Tempest every day like I do to search for used cars. It's a very fun way. You can specify by color, by any way you want, just like the big boys, except it combines all the listing sites into one search. And if there's somebody you know shopping for a used car, maybe they're not a car person per se, tell them about Auto Tempest because it makes looking for a car so easy. So now let's go into Silver Rose and meet up with Daddy Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Don't growl. Oh my god. Hi, Daddy. Hey. <laughs> Hello, son and da future daughter in law. <laughs> yeah, that's right, right? That's yes. really weird. You're coming from his cave with uh, cookies. You're always snacking in these interviews. That's just your thing, right? I got a protein bar now. Very, that's much healthier than brownies, I think you did with a smoking tire with Farah. I'm off sugar. I had to leave behind sugar. Yeah. Well, finally, you posted a video of this lair of yours to tour around on cars and bids right it is very cool i was there last week filming have you watched the video yet i have not i just saw it posted though so i just what, i saw you? that you guys started on the roof and then went down right i watch every video you post the moment it goes live <laughs> that's true love i have a hard a time father would only say that though the son <laughs> not so much right i'm but proud I, of you son i was there it's like a bat cave and you're in this like dungeon almost but i loved how you brought the carrera on this lift to kind of get out of your bat cave and it was just like so cool like we were in another world your your car barn's very cool well it's so just not underground there's hidden. no window so slaves can work all hours and not know what time <laughs> it is right mm -hmm. yes that's literally exactly yes <laughs> there's no windows and there's no clock i don't know if you paid attention there's no clock anywhere and so our hope is that office workers who were needlessly exploiting will work until all hours of the night and then one day look down and be like, oh my God, it's 10 p.m. I forgot about my family. That's our, that's our plan. That's the goal. <laughs> well, and the other problem with that is there's nobody that will outwork you, which I've well, discovered. That's, as that's far not as... true anymore. That used to, for a long time that was true, but that's, things have changed a little. But you're still filming, like, are you still four to six, eight weeks ahead on videos? Are you not? No, <laughs> no, this, this is maybe two days. What happens if you get like sick? Like what happens if you have the flu? I made a video where I had the flu and I was just I remember that, down. I watched it moments after it uploaded. But like, what do you do? You, I mean, in that video, you were like lying in bed, as I recall. My daughter came down with influenza B, April, the same thing. Yeah, pretty much, yes, <laughs> on a, on a chaise lounge. Well, why, not, do you get, why don't you give yourself a little buffer? Uh, mm -hmm. That would be nice, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that you are in the vast minority when it comes to that as far as the buffer and things. I, that's what blew my mind is he's like six to eight weeks ahead. So if he gets burned out or gets tired or gets sick and takes a month off, nobody really notices in well, the content. No. To, be, to be totally clear, I mean, I spend the summer on the East Coast and so I don't shoot a lot when I'm out there. And that's the real reason I get so far ahead. But even when I come back, I start getting ahead again and I'm two, three weeks ahead after two, three weeks here. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth it, don't you? Maybe that's why Doug has like millions of dollars in a Carrera, you know, GT, GT and yeah. just like the high-end stuff. And you can't feel good though. 
No, yeah, you're doing okay. <laughs> There's already, he, yeah, thanks, April. She, she already said April, that you're the April's, prettiest April's car YouTuber on top of that. Division. She, April's sewing division. She's mentioning, she's already mentioned the car barn not being adequate, your vehicles not being adequate, and your financial no, situation. No, being adequate. I don't think I'm adequate. Like, Doug, I feel like if I had your brain, but like still my body, like I was just still me and a girl, but if I had your brain, like, Tyler yeah. would love me so much more because I can't like. Oh, just... that's not true, April. I asked Tyler about you when when we were together before you came, and yeah. he is over the moon. He's so over the moon, in fact, that he's going to marry you, which I think is a it, surprise. It's a surprising <laughs> decision for a few reasons. Yeah. Um, for Are a you getting in million. trouble right now? <laughs> No, I, th I'm, I, I love you. I think you're great. I, I'm not surprised because he's willing to marry you. I'm surprised that he's willing to marry. Can we talk about this on, the, on this? <laughs> we can talk about he's sitting there like, I do not want to go down this road. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get out of the car and you two can, you can talk. Yeah. You yeah, well, just be, and speaking of the car, it's, it's the car I bought on Cars and Bids. I'm going to love changing the subject here. The 1991 Lincoln Town Car, a silver rosé, April's. New daily driver. That's another reason why I love her. That she wanted a big old boat like this. You know I love this stuff. So April, you're gonna drive around in this ridiculous Lincoln instead of one. Of, he's got all these supercars. You should drive that SLR like Paris Hilton. Is Not that Jake right? in the background? Uh, Jake's right here in my face. No, that's that's uh, that's uh, the siding guy because there's all the construction going on in the house. Right. No, this okay, is a so, beautiful, comfortable land yacht that I love, and I'm not worried about driving it like the SLR. I'd be, near, I'd be. Near, I'm nervous driving his Majescalade because yeah. it's like his favorite, the Escalade. She calls my Escalade the Majescalade. It's majestic. But like yeah. I'm nervous driving that, you know. But so here's the thing. We don't need to change the subject, Doug. But okay. I, I do feel like I need to ask you because I am here in Kansas. Right. And I'm committing myself to Tyler 100%. But before yeah. I do, I feel like I need to know all the quirks and features of Tyler. Well, Hoover. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, your decision to move from Chicago, yes. a real city, to Kansas, that, you've already, that's it. You don't even need to get married because that's like <laughs> the end. You've already done the thing. Um, I'll tell you who Tyler's quirks and features, and they are the following. Um, every, this time of year, every year, he sends me a text and says, I have no money to pay taxes. What do I do? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sell some cars on your website. <laughs> you, you've never had this happen to you before? <laughs> no, I pay quarterly. I'm incredibly cautious about this stuff. I'm but, incredibly cautious. But then you, you make more than you think, and then you have to pay more, and or you missed a quarterly because your home renovations have killed you? <laughs> um. No, that has never occurred in my entire life because I am incredibly careful. Take me through it. So you, you, you're, you're, you're required to pay quarterly, but you miss some of these payments. And so it, then April 15 comes and you have a penalty and you're yes. like, oh, God, what do you do? Okay. Well, no, so this is the first year that I've done that just because of the house and all the things happening very quickly all at one time. But before that, it was just, uh, oh, I underpaid and underestimated and, mm -hmm. and oops. <laughs> Usually. You know, it's, you're supposed to just pay last year plus 10%. If you do that, there's the, I guess you could still underpay, but you won't be subject to any penalties. Right. Well, and that was sort of the, the ramp up with YouTube is I just, I didn't realize, you know, I, I, I'm spending all the money that I make on cars and you can't uh, say buy a, a silver rosé Lincoln town car and immediately write off 15 grand, but the money's gone. So then you just think, oh, you know, it, all right. Uh, so it, it turns into a thing. I don't, I'm not lucky like you where I can just go review someone else's car and make the money that way. What are you writing off every year? <laughs> I don't know. But it's got to be massive. I appreciate some of the cars that I have for a long time. And, uh, um, you know, I, that kind of But no, I'm usually I treat it like a dealership, sort of like a buy and sell. So um, the repairs I, I write off completely. So the cars is just the straight buy and the straight sell. So. Um, um, April, I have a question for you. When mm -hmm. Tyler was here, hmm. he told me mm -hmm. that you think of YouTuber <laughs> as sort of a derog... You come from the production world where things are a little bit more polished than perhaps filming a video on Zoom sitting in a 1991 Lincoln town car with the oh, siding guy walking around in the background. <laughs> and so Tyler's view <laughs> was that you think that YouTuber is sort of a derogatory term almost. <laughs> like it's not... You're, you, feel like you're, you feel like you're better than us. Is that... <laughs> That is 100% true. No, I'm just messing with you. 
<laughs> but like back in the day when YouTubers came out, I guess I was really jealous because I had to be on live TV and spit out information and knowledge and facts correctly the first time, no matter what. And there's so much pressure where I saw YouTubers, they were like editing each word and splicing each word together. Jump cuts, she hates jump, jump cuts. Jump cuts and just getting away with it and getting hundreds <laughs> of thousands of views. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So there's like definitely a chip on my shoulder about YouTubers, I'm slow to convert. The answer to what you were doing wrong is you should have gone on YouTube at that exact moment and started a YouTube channel yeah. and absolutely <laughs> killed it. Well, but all of her friends that are in, you know, the, the classic TV and movie business, they all want to come on and start a YouTube channel. Right. And so they're asking her about it. They're asking to come on Good Morning YouTube and that kind of stuff. But she does not want to admit to anybody that she's a YouTuber. I'm not it's a very a, strange thing. You won't admit that yet. You know, you, you know you can, even though you don't admit that, you got, YouTube has given you guys a pretty good life here, you know? Right. I think it's time for you to stand up and say, this is what I am, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Taylor will do that. What exciting guy is walking home today with a check to feed his family because of YouTube? This is a good therapy session from Dad. Suppose, yes. He's encouraged about working ahead, paying taxes on mm -hmm. time, and just owning who you are, right? Right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Doug's early videos were very rough. They're much more polished now. He has an editor. Yeah. There's way less jump cuts. But I, I, what I've always wondered, I'm not sure if I asked this before, you didn't post your very first video. You filmed it and then you like threw it away. What was it? Like why, why was it so bad? It was, it was a review of a Nissan Cube that I owned. Do you remember that Nissan Cube? Yes, with the crazy headliner. And, yes, yes. I, I inherited that car from my brother and I filmed a video with it and it did not go well. I mean, I was like throwing, I had a step stool for some reason. I was like throwing it. I was like so mad. The footage is long deleted. It's, it's long gone, but that video didn't go live. But it was a good practice video. Um, and now I, and then I filmed another video which did go live and here we are millions of dollars later. <laughs> it's gone great. No, it wasn't quite that easy. But yeah, that's that's what happened. What was your first video? You did videos with uh, back in the day. Well, I, I mean, there was maybe two before I sent the one to you with the Lincoln, you know, and backing into the Prius and all that stuff. Um, yeah. There's that little stab yeah. at it before with my friend who was an animator that, you know, we tried to do a little uh, Top Gear style thing. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I think you saw all of it. All the terribleness is still online. I haven't gone through and deleted anything for the most part. That's the good thing. That's what I like about YouTube. You know, I, I do worry that YouTube is getting a little polish. And I say that as the least polished guy on YouTube. But like you remain you. And that is important to me. Unpolished. That's what you're saying. I still edit on iMovie, which is what you used to do. Yeah. Uh, now yeah. I have Nick who edits. He's my version of Jake, but I pay him better. And <laughs> he's gonna quit. Just gonna cut the camera off right now and be like, I'm moving to well, San Diego. It's actually gonna be a net loss for Jake. Jake's gonna be like, a mistake. <laughs> um, and it's great. And and yes, things are, but I'm still not like Throttle House is like good content. Like mm -hmm. you would watch that if you were watching good content. Whereas me and you, it's like, oh, here's a guy. Hello. Oh, I'm supposed to do the thing with, for Ed Bolian. You wanted it now, but you've already done it. Kimmy, are those blood implants? You can't have Tara in it, you She guess. wasn't in it. She and there's, mm -hmm. that's kind of cool, I think. I think that's really cool. It's like you're in your own living room, sitting next to your best friend, or just at a bar, just having a conversation. Right. Right. right, which I think is why people have no problem walking up to me in the middle of a meal. <laughs> Does this happen to you? Like, I, 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 have, I was in New York City the other day and I saw a bunch of celebrities, but I would never, I'm like terrified to walk up to them. Mm -hmm. But one time I met Jerry Seinfeld and I was like incredibly nervous the whole interaction. But people have no problem walking up to me, you know, the, hey man, like they, they've known me for 50 years, you know, like, it's, but I think that's why. I think there's this like relatability that you can, that you can get from oh, yeah. YouTube hard and other people. With that in Kansas, is it small town enough? Is it where I think is this someone I should know, like a friend of my parents, or you know all that? Like, so there, I have to like sometimes it's right. someone that I'm supposed to know, but I'm thinking it's a YouTube fan, and then I look like a complete jerk. And, uh, right, yeah. right. You someone walks up to you at Tractor Supply, and you're like, "Is this my dad's old poker buddy, or is do I have to introduce myself, or does he already know who I?" Right. Thanks for watching. What do you mean, thanks for watching? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're Paul. Yeah, exactly. Yes. 
April, when is your plan, when are you going to start your own uh, channel? Oh, God. Well, I have to become a YouTuber first, and so when that April, happens... <laughs> you're on YouTube. Listen, if you're making money from YouTube, you're on YouTube. You're a YouTuber. Right? Well, so, soon. It's coming soon. But my question is, like, are you done? Like, you've hit the top. You got your career at GT. Like, where do you go from here? I just feel like you've already hit the top of the mountain. Well, I'll tell you this, April. Despite your misgivings about the profession, <laughs> this is still the greatest job in the history of the world. And yeah. so, yeah, what else? But yeah, I could stop. But what else? What the hell else am I going to do? This like, is are the you only over the career GT, like the honeymoon phase. Over? Oh. Is there something that you don't like? You finally woke up and be like, oh, you know, it, it's it's too loud. The air conditioning, whatever, is too loud, or just some little yeah, I don't know. detail. You could, you, I don't see you or me going next level with like. 10 million plus dollar cars, you know, as far as Thank no, and, and even this is like insane for me. And the one problem that I have with it is that driving it around it, I feel like it's too, too expensive, but that's just how the market has treated it. It wasn't that of a, that expensive of a car back in the day, but no, I, I'm never going to get a Koenig. This is it. I've got everything I want in terms of material goods. I would love an F40. He wants a 300 SL. I would love an F40. However, I, if I never get one, I don't really care all that much. Um, <laughs> But the thing is, I'm never going to leave this job. This is the greatest job in the history of time. Plus, here at Cars and Bids, I literally work with my very best friends. I hired Filippo, who's one of my closest friends. Kenan is one of my closest friends. We hired Sean, who you met. Um, they're all, like, it's, I come to work with my best friends, and I get to film videos about cars. What the hell else is there? This is it. Right, this is and your it. role is now, you're not a CEO, you're a chief car enthusiast. Mm -hmm. which... And you know what? You are also the chief car enthusiast of Hoovy Enterprises, if you really think about it. <laughs> right. I, I'm just curious that that role was created by you to uh, well, either avoid responsibility or take on responsibility when you want? Because what's the... That's a good question. The answer to that question is the following. It's actually not a great story. I, I, we, were doing the, um, we, were on a, we were doing the acquisition and uh, we were worried about the CEO feeling weird if I took some super high title. We hadn't hired the CEO yet and so the thinking was we, were, we didn't know what he would think and if he would be threatened by that. And it turned out the guy we hired wouldn't have cared at all, but that's what happened. Hmm. I think a spokesmodel, like you're a spokesmodel oh, for cars yeah. and bids, that's the perfect Just, title for you. Every time I say your name, she thinks about your eyes, and then I see her drift off, and it's a little <laughs> annoying. Well, you just have very beautiful eyes. I feel like you need to light the set a little more, like right at eye level, to make those blue eyes just pop. <laughs> right? I don't need any more creepy comments. <laughs> Kimmy, are those butt implants? <laughs> or emails, actually, than I already get, which I'm sure you guys get a lot of, you too. Get, I don't... What do you get? What creepy emails? Thirsty emails the, about drugs? Like, I want to lick your toes? Yeah, no, it, it's, 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 it's creepier than that. It's creepier than that. There's, there are some members, it's, it's always men. So, so, so just being a woman doesn't mean that you're, you're only getting creepy comments. Like, men also are getting creepy comments, but it's from men. So, like, right. it's men only who are giving the creepy comments. But they don't really distinguish apparently and um they are uh they're creepy they get they get pretty sexual and uh but tyler gets them too he's a he's a he gets them you know i once told tyler one of my one of my very best friends who is gay has a crush on him i don't blame him <laughs> right neither do i <laughs> wonderful right but back to this CEO thing. Why didn't you want to be CEO? Like, why aren't you more like Elon Musk and be like, I have to be the man and CEO of five different companies and this is all my because babies and I, I have to do Tyler, it. Tyler, I make car videos on the internet. There is no situation in which I should be making hiring decisions or strategic decisions or financial decisions or looking over spreadsheets. I may I am make car videos on the internet. That's my career. Oh my god, you've frozen. Jake. Jake. What have you done? Have you frozen again? Not too bad. This is Kansas's problem. Dude, you gotta move to California. April, no. please convince him. 
I mean, you just, you just froze right for here a second. Because, connection's great here because California is where the internet is headquarters. <laughs> Well, speaking yeah. of uh, internet, it's uh, yeah, we're on Starlink with Elon right now. So we may have said his name in vain, and he just kind of snipped yeah. on the internet. Cut the cord. You don't have internet at your farm? No, that's the best internet. Yeah. What? Let me ask you a question, April. When yeah. you moved to Kansas, did you realize that you were moving to a farm <laughs> with with an IRS delinquent who doesn't have the internet? <laughs> this sounds like a um. This sounds like a uh, like a Unabomber type situation <laughs> on paper. It's not this in has practice. been an absolute joy, Doug. Thanks so much for coming on. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. Yeah, and then you know I got my ACL torn, and so I had to like be stuck here for the surgery and everything. And I'm like, did you know the guy that hit me? The whole this, like... plot line of misery is playing in her head of this. <laughs> right. Yeah, she can't escape. Somebody, somebody hit you on the ski slopes. Right, mm -hmm. snowboarder out of nowhere, slammed right into me. Do you have what? his info? What do you do? I, I know in a car accident you like exchange paperwork. It's, what do you do? It's the it? same thing because he hit me from behind, which in a car, car accident, it would be the same thing and it goes under your, your home insurance. How do you explain to a car guy what part I hurt? Oh, well, it's ACL. It's pretty common. Like so, what is a, uh, in a car, what would that like part a, be? Like a control arm uh, yeah. bushing or so something. I, yeah. I yeah. broke the control arm bushing, right? A uh, uh, sway bar in link or something? <laughs> yeah. Yes, something Listen, like that. I, I, I play tennis. I'm better than he is, and I understand how the body works. So you <laughs> you broke, you. so you had to deal with this. And so you were just sitting there at the at the farm for a while. Right. Mm -hmm. I was broken. And, and, yeah. Right. And you have, and, and then you, but then you you got fixed. Where did this happen? It was in, it was in Denver. I think it's interesting, though, that you said you're better at tennis then Tyler, is that like a proven fact or we, we know no, for sure? No, I'm not all that good. I'm actually a little nervous about it uh, because <laughs> he has asserted that he like used to coach little boys or something. And, and that's, <laughs> it just right? came out really bad. It was my first job <laughs> it just came was, out was doing tennis camps really and things, bad. yes. Uh -huh. Well, Tyler did say that he is better with something than you are, which he said his Countach is better than yours because it's more reliable. Do you agree or disagree? No, that's insane. And I think the, the market, <laughs> all, I will, all I will say is check the values. <laughs> and I think that problem will solve itself. That, that well, question it is more reliable, the, the, the fuel injection than the carbureted cars and the constant adjustments and things. But other than that, I, never, I agree, your car is superior. Way to go. <laughs> Enjoy your churning money while I, yeah. Hey, listen, hey, listen. This, in this case, perhaps, although we both have Countachs and we should be happy about that, yeah. you have some superior cars, though. You have that fire-damaged SLR that was in a severe fire. No, that it had a little <laughs> short, electrical short in the trunk that got turned into insurance. And, and as you told me, the fire department was called. Let me tell you something. But it was already out when they showed up. Sure. You were there? No. No. <laughs> You got all sorts of cool cars. You got cars. You got a 599. I've always wanted a 599. You're killing it. And April, you, then you make April drive around in this 1991 Lincoln Town Car. <laughs> she chose this. She bought this. I love this uh, car. But there is another one on Cars and Bids right now. What was the? Oh, edition? A, a Spinnaker edition. A Spinnaker oh, edition. A Spinnaker? Yeah. With, and that was like the end, right? That was like the final year, wasn't it? Of that body style, I think they're trying to get rid of them before they mm -hmm. did the update to the Panther. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you could always get yourself another Lincoln Town <laughs> Car. And this one's in Plano, Texas. Life would have been a lot easier for you if you had, because the one you bought was in Pennsylvania. Right. No, I'm like this one. I'm really happy with it. It's really sexy and cool. And just like, and I don't feel bad, like, if I'm not super paying attention, which obviously you should be when you're driving. But like, if I'm in a parking lot going really slow, like, people aren't going to get mad at you. They assume like, she's nice. Oh, it's just an old lady. I'll let her take her time. <laughs> The greatest luxury car is a car that you don't have to care about. <laughs> Unlike when you're on the ski slopes and you get hit by a snowboarder. So, so the snowboarder hits you. Do you get incredibly angry with him? Did you start yelling at him? Tyler, I was in so much pain. I was in the worst pain in my whole life where I couldn't even breathe. Like I was face down in the snow trying to catch my breath. And the snowboarder's like, are you okay? Are you? And I couldn't talk. Tyler lost it. Like I've never <laughs> seen him. Yeah. He what just, happened? Lost I threatened it. him every way I could threaten. The ski patrol you had to kill him? Yeah, the ski no, patrol had to I separate mean. them and she's like, You can't <laughs> harass him, like let him go. The guy was like, I have a son, please don't hurt me. Like <laughs> it, 
Well, it was just so reckless and stupid and irresponsible, and I was just so I knew exactly what had happened to her leg. Like I just knew this is our this is the next six months of our lives just dealing with this, and it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. And I, I just and it was her first time skiing. I didn't, and I just I wanted to kill him. I like I like this is the first time I've wanted to kill somebody. So wow. Yeah. You intense. wanted to kill him because of a snowboarding error. Did he recognize you? <laughs> I don't think so. No. <laughs> No. He might have. He never yeah. took his glasses, his like goggles off or anything. That was Doug's first piece of advice to me, which obviously I didn't follow that day. Was you have to be out in public, be nice and be normal no matter what, because mm-hmm. somebody is going to see it and say something, and then right, yeah, and then you get labeled that. You have one like abusive comment to a Starbucks barista, yeah. and your career's over. And regular people are abusive sometimes. And regular people do bad stuff sometimes, and they suffer no consequences. But mm-hmm. if you do it even one time, then that's a reflection on who you are, and then it's game over. Yep. And that's the current state of like the internet and cancel culture. <clears throat> and so you have to be really careful about that. And so you threatening to kill a man on the ski slopes because of a snowboarding error, that may have been a little... Dad's I know, Dad scolding me. me. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, there's always one or two compliments, and then you know the, the, the typical swipes. That, that's, well, yeah. I mean, you threatened to kill a man on the ski slope. The snow patrol, the ski patrol, had to come and and, and move you away. That's not a good situation. They did. But they took her off on a snowboard. Yeah, on the on the, <laughs> well, not, the whatever they call the them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think Lord. this is a pretty good uh, interview. I think I've learned a lot about you. Mm. About Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you know, Doug and I used to work together and film together, and I got replaced uh, by with by Kenan on his circle. Oh, and yeah. you've sort of replaced Doug now as sort of my oh. usual, you know, co-host. April, I'm going to tell you something. Other than that, well, I we I, I'm going to say this, and I'm I'm fearful of who's watching, but I'll just say it anyway. We have a lot of YouTuber colleagues. By and large, they're all bizarre human disasters. I have always loved Hoovy, and I think that you're very lucky to be in a Hoovy centric relationship. And I wish I was in a Hoovy centric relationship, but unfortunately, I don't want to spend my time in southern South Central Kansas. That's, Otherwise, I would. That was the nicest thing he's ever said about you. That, that was very Did nice. Did you pay had, him to say that? I had no idea he had those kind of feelings. <laughs> I'm also not. What do you mean you had no idea? You're the only person I ever see all the time. That's why I'm always asking you about the other people because I'm you. You like talk to all of them, and I'm like, I don't know what to make of these people. Mm-hmm. See, and that's why I think that you would like me better if I had Doug's brain. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no. I mean, just having dinner and like him examining the weird part of the restaurant and the food and the, <laughs> the quirks and features of that. Like it sometimes it doesn't turn off. <laughs> <laughs> that analyzing of people and things, it doesn't turn off. And it's a very, you know, in cars, and you said you met Seinfeld, sometimes it gets very Seinfeldy in the way that he looks at life and examines things and picks it apart. And it's, yeah. and it's entertaining. But every day, I, like, I don't, your, your wife must be a saint. And well, I've met her and she's wonderful, so. Uh, I do yes. have, for better or worse, the brain of a journalist, which means that I notice everything and I pay attention to everything and people think they can slide things by me or that I won't catch or whatever, and I always do 100% of the time, period. Mm-hmm. And that's the, the gift and curse. The gift, obviously, it gave me this YouTube channel because finding all these little things that other people don't find or don't think that people care about was a big deal. Mm-hmm. The curse is that, yeah, there's nothing that doesn't get by me and it does there's no time that you can turn it off and stop Mm -hmm. so sometimes at night i just sit there close my eyes and think mainly about you (laughs) wonderful how am i going to top that i can't you should do the same beautiful blue eyes and this car knowledge meditate to hoovy no you don't need endless car knowledge that's not why he's interested in you april because he doesn't you don't need two people who have endless car knowledge together it just becomes a problem agreed <laughs> although that's that's, that's cars and bids all of you guys in the basement just uh, nerding out all day right to hoovy tell us what you love about april <laughs> what do i love about april is she's very supportive and fun and also a car enthusiast and then in the evening, she'll wind down and watch Star Trek with me. They do. But also mm-hmm. about the nicest person I have ever met on top April of that. April is also tremendously positive, which I think is just about the best quality that any person can have. She's like mm-hmm. always smiling or having some positive thing to say. And negative people, it becomes really mm-hmm. grating after a while. 
Absolutely. You guys are so sweet. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Did you drug each other or uh, something? <laughs> well, and then he's forced you to get into a 91 Lincoln Town Car. So, you know. <laughs> and the doors all act, I can't get out. <laughs> April, are you going to get animals at this farm? I think we're going to get dogs and hopefully an alpaca. I was thinking what? we start with just chickens. We have a chicken coop that's ready to go. You were ready to start with chickens. She wants to start with an alpaca. Yeah. What do you think, Doug? What should we get? <laughs> you might have just caused a, a, our first fight. What happened? Your sound is gone. I'll just assume what you're saying is that you are actually going to get several alpacas and also uh, a killer whale like SeaWorld. <gasps> yeah, because the pond, where we're doing the pond and we're going to have fish and turtles and a whale and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Can I come and visit this place someday? Absolutely. Yes, but don't romance him too hard because I still have to see him at night and he's going to be just like, ugh, April, you're so boring. You know what? You I'm not going to watch Star Trek with him. I'm not going to do that. Um, the last time I was in Wichita was 2008, so I think there's a good chance that any day now I might be passing on through. Yes. Well, there you go. Because you do your cross-country drive still every year to, your, to summer in Nantucket, right? But you, yeah, yeah, but... Uh, I go through that Texas panhandle and then the whole of Oklahoma. I don't really hit um, Wichita, but I'm hoping that maybe you can come and visit me this time. Right. Well, if I'll hit the 40. Yeah, we can come. I can do that. Yeah. I feel like you're like a good marriage counselor, perhaps. Like, you know how you have to go see somebody or like the mm -hmm. priest or whatever before you get married and like right. counsel with them to see if you're compatible. Like, I feel like that's what Doug is for us. Are you guys going to do that? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Have you all, have I, I, I didn't listen to the last one. <laughs> what did the last one say? No, no, no. We're not going to end it. It's time to go, Doug. It's time to go. What do you mean? This is great content. This no, is what it's not. No, 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 <laughs> no. We're not no. To talk about the last one in it's, front of it's April. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> and enjoy your career, GT. I will meet you up in I-40 when you do your cross-country drive. Yeah, I'll and, uh, see you in, um, what is the, what is the town in Texas? Is it Abilene? Amarillo? Amarillo. It's Amarillo. No, yeah. it's Abilene. No, it's Amarillo. I've been Warner. through both. Yeah. Amarillo. That's right, the, cat, the Cadillac Ranch. Ooh. Yes, we can meet there with some spray paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Well, bye. Thank you so much That's for coming it. on. That's the end. We've all yes. seen everything. April? Keep killing it. Welcome to YouTube. As a YouTuber, I welcome another YouTuber to the fold. And of course, you catch Doug DeMiro on the Doug DeMiro YouTube channel. And Cars and Bids, what, the best what? place to uh, buy or sell your modern enthusiast car online. Did I get that right? Yes, that's about what you do. You're on. He's yeah. on Cars and Bids all day. day. Like, if I didn't know you, like, I'd be like, who else are you talking to? And it's like, literally, like, you need a therapy session. You know, gambling, they have like, if you have a problem gambling, call this number. You need to have that listed in Cars and Bids, like in the corner, because it's an obsession, like literally all day long. So I'm you're done. the source of my tax problems, Doug. <laughs> yeah. You see that M5, you see that M5, that E39 Touring turned into an M5 on the site right now? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> You're encouraging this. Stop encouraging this craziness. Spend more money here. <laughs> Bye, Doug. <laughs> hey, what does Jake drive? Everything. He sold his PT Cruiser Turbo stick. He's so bad. No, he traded it. No, he traded it for a motorcycle. That's right. Because he so. couldn't sell it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would have given him 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs>